let's plant some of our fancy seeds. Every pet the cat. <laughs> Where should our area of interesting and wild flowers go? Maybe in front of the sunflowers? So we're gonna have a wild heliport there. A red daffodil. A wild tulip. Um, actually, I shouldn't put the peony there because that's going to be much bigger. The peony can go over here next to the red one. Yeah, perfect. It's interesting that this has kind of made a, a bed around all the roses. That doesn't happen with all of them. Maybe that only happens when they're positioned close to each other because it's kind of happened there. I've still got a lot to work out about this game. <laughs> but, back to bouquets. Just in time. Well, the time to run out. Just give me a few more minutes. And then I promise I'll go to bed. That one's a bit small, isn't it? Can I make one yet? No. Okay, red rose bouquet is to be continued tomorrow then. Let's dump these into there and put our seeds away in the seed storage. And then we're nicely organised. I would love this so much. Let's say goodbye to the cat actually. Okay. And we should be in for another nice sunny day tomorrow, which probably means I'm going to need to water quite a lot again. But it will look nice. Okay, another day. Two weeks in to the garden. No posts today, because we didn't complete the one from yesterday, I guess. But we also don't actually need any money right now, so I'm not worried about that. Look how pretty the pink ones are. I hear flies again. Now I know how easy it is to refill the can. It's not that much of a problem. Seed collect. Nothing needs to be watered there. Some poppy seeds. Oh, they definitely need to be watered. And we've got some fly issues. Let's quickly pull the weeds and fill up the watering can so you can be very efficient. Is it all of them? All of them from there, anyway. Okay, water and pest spray. Anybody else? Anybody else need pest spray? There. Okay, I think these aren't dying or anything, but they kind of look a bit dry, so I'm just going to give them some water. The new flowers look so pretty as well. And they're kind of more obvious over there, I think, than if we just mix them in with the other plants. So, happy with that. How many more roses can I cut? without just decimating the roses. <laughs> I think I might need to, yeah, okay. Maybe I sometimes just need to kind of stand in the roses because there's loads of flowers like on the inside. Let's see how we're doing with that. That one's pretty small, but it just has a massive cluster of roses there. I need one more. Just okay. Okay, we've got enough red rose bouquets, enough yellow daffodil bouquets. I need five of the sunflowers and five red poppies. Just in time to wrap up for the day. We finally delivered the big order. I'm excited to see what's going to happen now tomorrow. Do I have hey anything? There. Oh, I see you got started on Robin's to-do list. I didn't bring it up because I didn't want you to feel pressured into it. Oh, well, I appreciate but that. Thanks. <laughs> It'll mean a lot to Lori. Um, a ghost pressured me into it instead. Leslie says thank you for the bouquets, and unsurprisingly, she's already reached out to Joe the carpenter. Yes. Knowing her, there should be a stall in the village square by the next time you get there. Perfect. One more thing. You probably saw the thing on the to-do list about the pavilion. I think I'm going to open it back up again. Could you drop by when you have a chance? I think it'll be cool to take another shot at it. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Great work again. Things are really coming along nicely. Take care. Okay, great. Oh, 
the pavilion. I didn't know Jasmine had closed it. Well, if you've not seen that yet, you're gonna love it. It's really gonna be something else. So that's the um, the archway that I noticed when we very first went into the village. And I said, it looks like we should be able to get in there, but you can't. That was the pavilion. I have no idea what's going to be in the pavilion, so that's going to be an exciting surprise. I'm just going to drop everything off in here before we finish for the day. And then tomorrow, lots of new things to explore. Very excited. Oh, pink peony seeds. Okay. Let's just take those with us for the day. Let's go check the garden first, but I want to go and see Leslie. Hello dearie, I happened upon the garden a little while ago and I would love to display some flowers in the shop. I think it would really tie the whole place together. A few roses and sunflowers would be lovely. That's 12 red roses and 12 yellow sunflowers. It's fine. Also Leslie, I would like to change the flower arrangements in the shop again. This time I think daffodils and poppies would do the trick. If you aren't too busy, I'd be grateful for your help, okay? That's quite a lot of daffodils and poppies, but that's fine. I've got plenty of those. I don't like leaving things all dried up, so we'll do I some watering first. Marcus. Oh, hi, Marcus. Jasmine's fiance. She's been talking non-stop about everything you've been up to. The garden's looking good. I really like what you've done with the place. Thank you. I've dropped by because I was wondering if you might be able to give me some jasmine. Before you say it, it is for jasmine, uh, but not in the cliche way. Okay. In what way? We do photo shoots together every now and then. They tend to go on for hours, and it's good to have some refreshing tea to keep us going. It just so happens that Jasmine likes Jasmine, which is great because I like her a lot too. Ah. <laughs> anyway, I'd really appreciate it. I'm going to organize some stuff for you in return. Ooh. Catch you later. Great. Okay. Complete. Marcus's request is now a big to-do. Yay, let me water those. I was a bit worried about that. I thought they might have just died. And to the village. Oh, it's Why, open. Hello, my dear. As promised, you are now the proud owner oh, there. of one garden storm. It's there. I love in it. The corner, opposite the shop and the pavilion doors. It should be very simple for you to use. People will come by, hopefully before or after coming to visit me, and give you florins for whatever you're selling. This is a really nice addition. The next morning, you'll be able to collect the money from the previous day in the little money box. But what you should keep in mind is this. Some items will do better Ooh. or worse in different seasons. That comes with the trade. I'm sure you can manage that just fine, dearie. Okay. Such an exciting step to take. I'm glad Leslie has faith in us. Open. Oh, wow, okay. Um, I kind of want to sell something. Watch myself. Let's sell these daffodil cuttings. I do have an extra. No, I think. Do I need that? I can't remember. Can I split a stack? So, for example, could I take that, but only some of them? Oh, there. Transfer single. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Um... Hold to transfer a single. Let's sell three roses and puppies. A puppy. Okay, let's just see how that goes. I should have bought some seeds with me so I could see if I can sell seeds. I bet I can. But now let's go and explore the pavilion. What is in here? Oh, there's a sound change. There's music. It's very bare but this is intriguing oh wow hi so this is the pavilion looks rather spectacular even as it is don't you think this is going to be for flower displays isn't it basically robin and i were talking about more ways to use the garden at the last summer festival we thought it might be nice to honor the people in the village who we really care about 
Before you could have known it, we were thinking about what makes those people stand out, coming up with ideas. We even decided we should get a couple, too. All of these statue frames you see came from that, all except the heart-shaped one at the front. I made that for Lori more recently. Uh -huh. You'll find a list attached to each one of the flowers Robin planned to use to make the statues themselves. If you ever okay. find yourself with some of those flowers to spare, you can just put them in the Dutch bucket by each statue. The Dutch bucket? Where? Wow. Marcus and I will work on getting them set up when all the flowers are collected. Oh, okay. So these are going to be quite a lot of flowers, aren't they? Even that small one's 30 pink roses and 30 white lilies. Look at that one. This one's huge. I need to complete the small ones before I'm even allowed to do those ones. Red poppies and pink hellebore. Yellow jasmine. Red daffodils. Oh, these are going to be pumpkins. That's going to be brilliant. This is such a cool idea. I really like this. Even that is going to be one. Then there's a second room back here. Are these all individual small ones, or is that one big one? I think that's one big one, actually. That's going to look pretty. Okay, another big project to undertake. I'll probably focus on one at a time. This one seems like the easiest right now. Red poppies and pink hellebore. Only pink hellebore is, I think, one of the special flowers. I'm not sure if I can actually buy pink hellebore seeds. Although maybe I can. I haven't actually tried. Let's go and see if Leslie has any. No, she doesn't. I think it must be a special one. Right. Known in India as the Queen of the Night, Jasmine will release its intoxicating fragrance after the sun has set, especially when the moon is waxing towards fullness. Jasmine fruit are berries that turn black when ripe, and its flowers are sometimes infused into green tea. Now, it looks like Jasmine prefers autumn and winter, which is interesting, because I think it's currently spring still. It also looks like it needs a trellis, which I thought might be the case. So we need to find somewhere to put another trellis like we've got over there for the ivy. Okay. This might need a little bit of thought. This is um, probably a good place to pause. We've now checked off the next to-do list. Um, soon, hopefully, I'll find out how we're going to get the garden hose. But we do have... Another big order with the um, Jasmine of the Second Kind quest from the new character, Marcus. So that's what we're going to be working towards next time, which we need to make more trellis for. So I'll see you then.